Hey guys, today we are talking about what coffee roasting is. I've learned a ton about coffee roasting over my last past year of research and visiting local roasters. Today we are going to talk about what coffee roasting is and how it impacts every roast and blend and how it actually makes it stronger. Coffee roasting is a chemical process of which aromatics, acids, and other flavor components are actually altered just depending on what the roaster is feeling. At the beginning of each batch, raw coffee beans that are green are actually inserted into a roaster's charge system. Once the roaster's internal air temperature reaches about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, it actually goes into a process where they spin it in a hot metal drum. This is what's known as the roasting process. For the first five minutes, a ton of heat is applied to bring the coffee up to roasting temperatures. This has to be done quickly to preserve a lot of the moisture inside, but you don't want to do it too quickly because then you risk burning the actual roast. This is what's known as scorching. You don't want to scorch your beans. During this whole process, your beans will actually turn from a green to more of a yellow. In the next five minutes, the beans will actually undergo a lower temperature of about 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 350 degrees Fahrenheit just to get a lower roast temperature. This is a precursor to developing tastes and aromas that will actually develop at higher temperatures. Temperatures are developed in the internal moistures and temperature and pressure are very closely controlled just so that way they don't mess up the taste and flavor. During this part of the process, the beans will actually turn from a light yellow to a light brown. During the last two to five minutes of the actual roasting process you'll develop the actual development of the taste and smells that you are going to get from your coffee. At around 360 degrees Fahrenheit the first crack noise will be heard. This is actually caused from the internal pressure that is on the coffee beans when they're being roasted. They'll crack and pop and then you'll know that they're getting close to being done. This is due to a pressure of carbon dioxide and water vapor inside of coffee beans. These are actually chemical reactions that are happening internally inside the beans. Once the crack happens, these pressures are allowed to actually exit the bean, lowering the temperature of the actual internal roast. Between 360 degrees to 395 degrees, the actual internal coffee will start developing all of its flavors as all of the actual chemical process between the sugars are actually able to happen. Random fact, there's actually a bunch of amino acids and sugars that react to each other inside of this process. Between 360 degrees Fahrenheit and 395 degrees Fahrenheit, sugars and amino acids actually start to compound and react differently, giving it more of a different flavor. The flavor of coffee from a medium roast is actually derived from the caramelization of sugars. During this part of the process, coffee beans will actually shift to a darker brown color. They'll actually start to develop more of a nutty, darker, and cocoa-like development. Each coffee has a precise time and temperature for roasting, but this is all determined on the roaster. Now, we'll go into more about cupping next week and how roasters decide on how much time is needed for roasts. But for right now, we're going to talk more about roasting. Coffees roasted above 395 degrees Fahrenheit are actually considered dark roasts. When you roast a coffee bean more, you actually pull a lot of the caffeine compounds out of it. Fun fact, most dark roasts actually develop between 410 degrees Fahrenheit and 420 degrees Fahrenheit. When you start roasting darker roasts at these temperatures, you start getting these really cool nutty flavors and spicy flavors some have even reported. Once the roast is finished, they will actually be cooled and then packaged into bags and containers and shipped to coffee shops all around the world, some even local to you. Quick note, some roasters will actually pre-grind coffee beans and package them directly for the coffee shops and the coffee shops will buy pre-ground coffee. However, some coffee shops actually roast their own beans in-house, which allows them to have more control over the flavor and different notes that you can taste in the coffee. So sometimes it's smart of a coffee shop to actually buy their own roasting equipment so that way they can have more control over what they want you guys to taste.
Before a coffee roaster can get the right process down for time and temperature on how to make a roast taste good, they have to go through a process called cupping. We will be talking more about cupping next week, so make sure that you smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also make sure that you turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time we upload an awesome video. Also, if you learned something in this video, please smash the like button. It helps us make awesome content like this daily. I love all of you so, so much. Thank you all so much for coming to this roast, and I hope to see you next week in our next brew.